Hi guys, I've been to Poundland. My name's Fawn, this is my channel and it's my happy place. And I come on here to show my friends what I've bought, what I'm thinking about, what I'm doing. Um, if you like that kind of thing, please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave a comment. Now before we get going, yes, my fringe is now too long. <laughs> it's beginning to drive me a bit bonkers. So it needs a trim already. And I am wearing the dress that everybody, well, almost everybody hated. I do listen to what you guys say and there are things that have gone back that wouldn't have gone back. And there are things I've kept that I wouldn't have kept. But this just, it's a cuddle in a dress. And I really like it. I wear it with black leggings um, and some ankle boots, sort of bother boy ankle boots, boots, boots. Um, and it's just, I don't know, it's a happy dress. It just makes me feel good. And that's the most important thing, guys. Do listen to your friends, as I do, and ask for advice. But if something moves you, it moves you. So just keep it. <laughs> anyway, I went to Poundland, and I haven't been there for a while through, you know, coughs, colds, bugs, all that sort of thing. I went a bit mad. I spent £139. I can't find the receipt. Hopefully it will appear somewhere during the... Um, unpacking if not i think i can remember most of the prices but i did have fun i had to have two of their little pull along trolley things <laughs> so here we go for a pound i picked up this isn't it cute i'm going to put the pictures of my three grandchildren in it um i was thinking afterwards i should have got another one because of course there are three grandchildren on hubby's side so i will be going back to get another one because um, i'm doing a gallery wall which you'll see and i'd like to have the pictures of i just thought about my grandkids isn't that awful that's a real failing that is um but yes so i'm going to get some pictures done and, and another frame and do the the six children there are actually seven but one lives in japan and we don't know um what it looks like at the moment unfortunately and um, there has been a a family thing it's not my family it's my husband's side of the family so I can't really I can't really um, interfere but anyway that was a pound and I thought it was great I picked up two packs of their thermal insoles they're only a pound and they're not the best quality in the world guys you are gonna want to change them but at a pound you're happy to change them. they're the sort that you cut to size they're fleecy on the top and they give that little bit of cushioning that you need i've got a couple of pairs of boots and i also put these inside wellies because when the weather gets really cold we put our wellies on great but don't you find your feet are flipping freezing in them so i get these every year i get some of these i don't think i showed you last year but there's actually two pairs in each packet so i do mine and i do hubby's so that when we go for a walk you, you the rubber of the welly isn't the only thing between you and the stone hard freezing ground not that it's frozen here yet is it frozen with anyone else because all oh, this fringe it, it hasn't quite here so um but they do say it's going to get colder this weekend so maybe for a pound i picked up a pack of these there's santa stop here signs there's three in there for the kids to decorate and hang on the doors around the house it's just a bit of fun that you do with the kids in the holidays got some stickers you know me and stickers but they're christmas ones so they're going to go on my christmas cards and things like that i think they're really really cute they're only two packs for a pound and i think they're really cute designs they had lots of different designs there in christmas um stickers but these were the two that sort of caught my attention I'll probably be buying more <laughs> i got a christmas fairy she was four pounds She's one of those that sits on the edge of something. I just thought the colours were lovely. I mean, she's a gonk, but she's a fairy gonk. Can you see? I thought she was super cute. Um, they had her in a few different colourways, but this was the colourway that spoke to me. <laughs> Brown parcel tape. A pound for two um, packets of it. It's not as strong as some of them. You know, if you go to the post office and you pay sort of four quid for a, a roll it is stronger but i tend to sellotape and sellotape and sellotape things when i'm going to be posting them so you know this is good enough do you know what i mean picked up a bag of mini cheddars i've been trying not to eat these things for a while but um yeah they sort of fell in the trolley for it this time of the year i tend to crave salty things which nick says is the wrong way around apparently we're supposed to crave salty things in the summer 
when we're sweating more and we're losing salts and electrolytes. But I don't. I like sweet things in the summer and savoury in the winter. Got some things for the kids, of course. Picked up this super cute Scooby Dooby Doo jumper for Levi. Uh, it was seven pounds. It is a proper, you know, knitted jumper. And I think seven pounds is a good price for a Scooby Doo jumper. And it does feel really nice. Couldn't get it for my Milo. My Milo obviously is. He's now hit uh, a size that is kind of difficult. He's between one category and another category. I mean, he is only five, um, but he has to wear seven to eights. And they're in a funny category. I'm not looking forward to this. Um, I had to do quite a bit of searching to find anything nice for him. I did, however, find him a pair of joggers. Um, they are Tom and Jerry joggers. Of course, he wears school uniform now. So when he comes home, he tends to strip off and put on a track suit of some description. So this is perfect, these joggers. Um, these were six pounds and I was able to get them in a size seven. And to go with the joggers, whoops a daisy, I found this little, it is a sweatshirt top. Again, Tom and Jerry, and it says, say cheese on the front of it. Um, that was six pounds. So what does that make it? It makes it 30, no, 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 six and six, 12 pounds for a little jog suit for him. So I thought that was really cute. For a pound 50, I picked up a boot. <laughs> Oh, there's things in it. She did say something to me about putting things inside. Yeah. For pound fifty, I picked up this hanging oversized boot. This also comes in gold. A lady told me that she'd seen them in silver before. I obviously haven't seen them, but I, I liked this sort of baby pink colour. I like some oversized things to hang um, and sort of be one-off statements. And I thought this one was cute. So it went in the trolley. Again, for the kids to keep them busy in this run up to Christmas, these were three pounds each. They're a paint your own Christmas mug. There are some paints in it. This one has Father Christmas on it. It's just a white mug. Um, and I got the, whoops a daisy, the Christmas tree design. And I got the elf design. As I say, they'll probably be awful. They'll probably look terrible. But you know yourself, if you've got kids or you've got grandkids, they bring you pictures home and things like that. And you look at them and you think, what earth is that? And then they will tell you with complete confidence what it is. So I think that's what will happen with the mugs. They'll be very proud of them, whilst we'll be kind of, mm, mm, what, is, what has he done on that mug? <laughs> I found the receipts. It's a good job I found it because these were actually £2.50 each. I said three, didn't I? But £2.50 each. Picked up my dad's favourites, my favourites too. Uh, they're only a pound. They just take me back to dad. So I bought them. Picked up. Oh! I picked up a five pack of decorations, floral decorations, again for doing. I'm just not sure what I'm going to do with that wreath at the moment, whether it's going to go whites and pinks or reds, not sure. So I thought, well, I'd rather pick all of them up because I can use them anywhere, can't I? So this was a pound and you get uh, one, two, three, four, five of these red bead things. So I was really pleased with that. I also whoop, picked up for a pound a two pack of little pink furry stars, Christmas tree decorations. Um, <laughs> I'm having real quandaries this year as to whether to, you know, throw the whole baby out with the bathwater and go pink and silver this year for a change, or carry on with my red and gold and very natural theme, or just do a hodgepodge of the lot. So um, I'll have to wait and see because even I don't know yet. I only picked up two of these. Um, I think Lara is a little too little to try and take this on, but it's, it's how to make your own little wind chime in the shape of a Christmas tree. It's got the little bell things on the bottom. They were a pound each. So again, it's an activity for the children. I mean, I don't know about you, but that run up from the school breaking up <clears throat> to actual Christmas day, those, I mean, what is it, a few days, can be really quite fraught and you need to keep them busy and kind of out of the way, keep them occupied and out of the way. I picked up two really cute little things to go on my Christmas cake. Um, as you can see, that one has Merry Christmas on it, and I like the fact that it's kind of movie, and then a really pretty tree. These were a pound each, and um, yeah, again, it's one of those I couldn't resist. 
for two pounds I picked up a stag um, he's green and that kind of flocked velvet they had them also in a grey but I just loved this deep Christmassy green oh I've just noticed I picked up one with a funny nose um, I'm going to decorate him anyway he's not going to stay quite as boring as this I will probably do something on his muzzle definitely now but for two pounds I thought he was great and I could have some fun with him um, and if he becomes completely over the top then there's a very good chance that my Lara will con will steal him she is obsessed with Rudolph etc so but I thought for two pounds that was quite it looks quite good doesn't it Pick myself up two I always say picked 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 I bought I got <laughs> two dresses this one is all shades of brown it's a check a collar it's very similar to what I'm wearing now it's long sleeves it is short but it has a, a cute waistband on it uh, with a kind of a flouncy skirt again I was thinking with thick tights and leggings comfort here it is and that was 14 pounds well, I picked up a very similar design, but this one is cotton, whereas that's a fleecy, you know, um, well, like this. Um, we always used to call them cowboy shirts, flannel shirt kind of thing. Um, I got this one, which is more cottony. And again, I thought the colours were pretty. This one has a V-neck, but again, little flouncy skirt. This has three-quarter sleeves. Um... I just thought it was really, really cute. And again, I think this one was 14. Let me check. The label's come off that one. Yes, that one was 14 pounds as well. I mean, that's such outstanding value, isn't it? And I do think the colours are pretty. I'll try and make sure that I wear them at some point and, and be able to show you. For Lara, for three pounds, I picked up this really cute little Christmas dress again just for the run-up to Christmas it's not a special one got a little bow on it I thought that the reindeers all over it were terribly terribly cute and three pounds I mean you can't go wrong can you I also picked her up some uh, jeggings you know, like the ones that I buy I got them in this sort of grey colour um, she wears a lot of dresses because in the house she's toilet training she's mid toilet training and she's doing really really well but if she's got pants or trousers on she tends to think it's the same as wearing a nappy and either just pees in it or sits on the potty <laughs> with them on so what we're doing or what her mum is doing is she wears a dress every day all day because then you know we we stand a chance of her using the potty and getting her knickers down we're working on the knickers thing but then if we take her out anywhere we pop a pair of leggings or jeggings under the dress so i saw these i thought they were really cute they were only four pounds um, they are elasticated and, and they'll be beautifully soft. So, got those for Laura. Now, everyone's going to say this is a girl's thing and it is a girl's thing. It's a little mini mouse skirt. It's one of these sort of tutu type of things. There's lots of them around at the moment. Um, I actually didn't buy this for Laura. I would have done if I could have found her size, but they didn't have a size. But what they did have they had my grandson's size and as many of you will know my middle grandson loves skirts and dresses so we have a compromise going on at the moment he's in nursery um that he wears jeans and then he's allowed to put one of these skirts over the top and wear it to school so um some of you may not approve but he marches to his own drum you know he's he's a different little character and that was five pounds i would have loved to have been able to get it for lara as well but hey ho i couldn't resist this little gingerbread house this is two pounds um it's just another bit of what my husband would call tat and nonsense but i love all this stuff at christmas so for two pounds i thought that was really really cute it's sort of um pottery of some description with glitters on it and it'll just be incorporated into a tabletop display of some description got myself some more tea lights i love these battery tea lights these ones there's only four in there but what i like about them can you see they're silver with the candle they had them in silver they had them in i think red they had various um of these they were only a pound for the four um safety first if I'm going to light up my Christmas decorations and I liked these ones because they were silver so I, I do have some decorations where you can see the candle properly and I thought they might make a nice display display it's all displays at the minute 
again from my Lala for Lara. For three pounds, I picked up this ever so cute little t-shirt top with long sleeves. Um, it's got Bambi on it and Thumper, and she loves Bambi and Thumper. So, and what a lovely shade of pink. I also got her this one, which was three pounds fifty which has Marie on it, you know, you know the rules. If you find something with Marie on it, you have to bring it home. So, um, yes, I got her that as well. For Levi, I found this. As you know, Frozen is his thing. Uh, what does it say? It says, spark your own magic uh, in blue. <laughs> Thank God that Frozen um, uses blue and it uses purple as well as, you know, your classic pinks and so on. Um, because we are accepting and embracing Levi for the unique, wonderful little character that he is. But some people outside are not quite so accepting and we get funny looks sometimes. So at least it's blue and we're not, you know, <laughs> it's a difficult one. I, until... Um, until little Levi came along, was never entirely sure when people said, oh, you know, kids know from a young age, blah, 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 you know, and I used to think, well, no, not really. But he is so different to his brother and he is so enamored of dresses and hair and, and things like that. And it just comes out of him, comes pouring out of him. And we are not about to start telling him, boys don't do that. We're not gonna be doing that. We're not that family. <laughs> so we kind of embrace it, but we try to be, I mean, it doesn't have anything pink, let's put it that way. <laughs> but if it's blue, absolutely. Got a few more vests for Lala. Um, these are only £2.50 for three. And they are nice little vests. They've got um, unicorns on and so on. So I just picked them up. I knew that she was short, saw them, grabbed them. Got a couple more packs of these decorations that you can do things with. Um, this one is green with red berries. This one has really pretty white berries. That's why I'm so tempted to do white and pink this year. I've never done it. Uh, again, they were a pound each, which is just so great for doing decorations and trimming things up in the house that I had to get one of each and I'll probably be going back for more. Probably, probably going back for more. You're gonna think I'm mad, okay? I bought these. Look, there's that one. There's that one. Oops. There's that one. And finally, oops. there's a blue one. They were £1.50 each. A lady was telling me you know, that they were a pound last year, but I didn't even see them last year. They were £1.50 each. As you can see, they're really, really big. I was thinking I can hang them up above us. Um, and they'll sort of look in proportion. I'm now not sure why I bought the blue one because these really go together well. The blue, not so much, but I just really liked the blue one. So, um, yeah, again, work in progress. I'm going to have to do a lot of thinking about what I'm doing. Either that or I'll just turn into the usual me, which puts things everywhere and gets more and more carried away and more and more excited as I'm putting things out. It is, you know, um, my house does turn into... The, the house that taste forgot at Christmas. It is something I do get a lot of pleasure out of. And I start out by being really subtle and, you know, putting a, th a few bits and pieces, a few garlands and being all, and then it gradually it grows and it morphs until it's just over the top. It's, uh, you know, the, the house of um, Liberace at Christmas. <laughs> For a pound, I picked up a bag of three bags. Um, these ones have nutcrackers on them. They had a few different designs there. They've got a ton of boxes, gift boxes, lots of different sizes. Um, but I'm not sure yet who's having what and how big a box I would need. So I'm holding off on that one, but I liked these bag ones. Um, they're great for dropping presents off to people. I always think it looks like a little bit extra when it's in a bag. Got some silver ribbon. I've already got gold and red. So I thought, well, if I am thinking about this silver root, I ought to pick some up. Again, it's only a pound and it's two meters in length. And that's a reasonable thickness to make a nice bow with. These you'll have seen before. Constantly buying these for the kids, constantly. They don't last. 
so you know if you're looking for a sponge that you're going to get some decent um wear out of you're not going to get it with these but i mean the kids are hard on them they chew them and they you know it's just well, and they like them so whenever i go in i pick up something like this i saw another cute thing look at this it's a little angel which again sits on the edge like the like the fairy gonk um she's got little can you hear it's actual sort of china little feet uh, she was two pounds again they've got lots of different designs but i saw her and i was just like oh wow i need a fairy in my life um the only thing that would have made her better was if she'd had brown hair but yeah i had to have her i say that a lot but it's true i did lie in bed last night thinking about a couple of things that i didn't get and thinking Mm, maybe I should have got them and you know and I say to myself but you don't need it but for a pound why didn't I get it it's weird another um, little housey thing if you remember I had that gingerbread one well I've got this little pink one as well this was two pounds too um, again it's it's flirting with this pink and white thing <laughs> But I like it anyway. And of course, the great thing with things like this is you can paint them and change them and make them, you know, work for you. Um, but yeah, got that as well. We're nearly there, ladies. Picked up some baubles. Now, I've got three different kinds. So first of all, with these ones, they're silver. But what I like about them, can you see? They've got like a wood colour and beads on them. Um, there's only four in the packet, but I think I am definitely going to go back and get more. Because the more I've looked at them the more I think they're so, so attractive with this sort of uh, wooden-esque thing. And again, with baubles, if they're not glass ones, you can always paint them and change them. Just want to check how much I paid. I think it was £2, but I want to be sure. Yes, it was £2 for four, which makes it 50p a ball. So I, I think that's really good, a bauble. Uh, I also picked up these ones, which are true sort of over-the-top, glitzy, glamorous. Um, again they were two pounds they don't really have anything um spectacular to save them i hope the glitter's coming across but they are very very pretty and i could see them sort of on the tree with the lights flickering off them so got those and i picked up these how gorgeous are these these are again two pounds this time for six definitely going back for some more they're shaped like pine cones they're white with a touch of gold on them i just thought they were stunning had to have them <laughs> and as i say gonna have to go back for more last two things and nothing to do with christmas one is a little clip which i thought was really pretty um it also comes with two little hair bands in the bottom uh, hair elastics in the bottom not that i'm particularly interested in those but i liked this clip it's black and sort of glittery um and sometimes i sort of take some of my hair up and away and I thought that might look really nice and was a pound and the last little thing for a pound was this which is a makeup sponge on a handle and what I like about it is if I can get it out so it's easy to hold on to you don't have to hold the sponge and put your fingers on the sponge I hate putting my fingers on the sponge but can you see the size of it it is perfect for doing up under the eyes and around the neck because it's smaller but it is a proper you know makeup sponge and as i say love the fact that i can hold it without actually having to hold it it has the oh i don't know if it'll show it has the flat piece here as well as the rounded coming to a point so i was impressed and bought it that was 139 <laughs> 139 pounds worth of poundland two huge bags <laughs> two trolleys and things i'm really really pleased and really impressed with i mean there are the odd thing that i'm looking at them now and thinking but see that will it will look so pretty won't it um i may just have to embrace the uh yeah the crazy over the top and just be like a 1980s disco in this house <laughs> i don't know but um yeah, I was really, really pleased and uh, I will be going back. It was weird to go there after not going for a few weeks because, you know, it is one of my regular haunts. So much had changed. They'd moved so many things around. As you can see, I didn't do really any sensible shopping. This hair is driving me mad. It's in my eyes. Um, I didn't really buy any sensible shopping once I realised that, yeah, Christmas had taken hold. I just thought, you know, leave it do a shop another day that is 
my washing stuff and my cleaning stuff and so on. Let's just embrace the madness that is Christmas and is me at Christmas, frankly. <laughs> so that's it. Um, yes, I hope you're all well and I hope you can get to a Poundland and find some of these amazing, amazing things. Um, and don't forget, I'm going to say it again. Don't forget anything that you pick up. It really doesn't matter what it is. You can paint it and change the colours. So if I do decide, yes, I'm going to go down a white and silver um, road, I can spray that silver. I can paint it white. Or I can keep it that luscious purple. <laughs> I love purple. So that's me. I'm off. Jobs to do. And I'll see you really, really soon. Bye, guys.